Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, walking you back to Lovecraft Country, the first supporter-sponsored episode for February 2022. As you may or may not know, we're at the second supporter stretch goal, which means there are additional two episodes a month on this channel. As you can see, the supporters have chosen to continue our monthly series of Arkham Horror, the RPG based off the board game based off the RPG Call of Cthulhu, so Call of Cthulhu with the serial numbers rubbed off. The last episode, our heroes escaped the mansion lair of the Herd of Algeidae, probably how it's pronounced, before they could be eaten by the cannibalistic cult. Now they venture into New Orleans' French Quarter in search of the mysterious Alphonse Lenway, a man said to have information regarding the herd's foul goals. His name may pop up more than but I can't imagine this Alphonse Lenway will prove helpful to your investigation. If you insist on seeking him out, you can find his shop in the French Quarter. This is like having your grandmother as your game master. Okay, so let's see what we've got. The peculiar Mr. Malene. Oh, I can't read that. Bring it a little closer here. Sit around investigating, adapting. I can't actually fully read that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop in for what appears to be chapter five of this mission. Now, I made some decisions at the end of last episode about what people I'd be taking with me, and I have, since I had a chance to think about it, decided to change that out a bit. Yeah, you might notice, by the way, that occasionally the sound is cutting out. They've got a pop-up issue here. I'll deal with it. But now we're not taking Zoe because Zoe's like completely batshit crazy at this point. So we're going to keep her behind. So we don't want to put Roland into this and we have to decide between these three. Now I'm thinking that we should put in Rex Murphy, both for his ability with, as you notice, he's a strong melee, which is the only melee character we have besides Zoe, decent range and decent magic. He's basically going to be our, shall we say, our uh, generalist. But he's still got monophobia, which means that if he's the last person out, he takes sanity damage, but it's better than Zoe, who's currently cutting herself. Oosh. Okay, so we're going to start with him and number investigator number one. Now, the second thing is, is do we take the uh, Agatha Crane or do we take Carolyn? Now, the thing was the Agatha. Agatha has two abilities, willpower and social. Or do we take Roland for the, for the guns? Hmm thing is that we're dealing with two generalists here, which means that we, we combine their weapons and such, but I'm honestly thinking about taking Roland. Now, this is going to mean that we're going to be weak on magic, but that's actually an advantage in some ways, is that we won't be taking any of the books with us, so we'll have a little less inventory issues. So, we'll put Roland into uh, slot number two. All right, so what we need to do is we need to figure out what we're going to take them. Now, with Roland, we're obviously taking the guns, and I do like the fact that it is regenerates all of our weapons here. Oof, we only got two bandages left. Not good. Okay, so yeah, first things first, the sawed off shotgun. That goes directly to Roland. He, of course, is the guy with guns. And the question is, what do we give him for the other weapon? Now, this one only has a, this has a six to 10. And this has five to seven, that has seven to eight. Now, the reason we'd be giving him two weapons is to be able to use both types of, of well, revolvers. Sorry, both types of ammunition. 38 and the shotgun shells so yeah i like the fact we have 38 and 45 but they're using the same caliber oh god i know it makes things a little easier i mean it would be hell to try to figure out how to uh have three types of ammunition we already have the cartridges bullets and shells wait a minute do the does this use the cartridges no it can't we don't have any ammo we've been we've been firing that so yeah do we want the reliable that, or do we want this one? Now, this one's going to be a higher critical hit, costs three action points, this costs four action points, but Roland's special ability is that he costs one less action point to fire a weapon. So, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to give him his default weapon, the one he comes with in the game. We're going to give him the cult government. This is going to give him the ability to be able to um, pump out either damage, heavy damage or, you know, lower cost damage depending on what we want him to do. Now, the other thing is, is that I think we'll give him the bulletproof vest. Now, it's gonna be because he's, it does slow him down, but he is going to more likely to take range damage from targets. Although I'm gonna rethink that. They've been, I've been noticing the AI has not been targeting people in the back. So we take that out. And what we wanna do is we wanna figure out what weapon we're gonna be giving. Oh my God, we got three lead pipes. I guess we're giving him a lead pipe. All right, we're giving a lead pipe to the good, uh, reporter here and 
What's our backup? Are we going to give him a pistol to go with that? Or magic book, which does six to nine. Now, if we do the magic book, that's not going to cost us any ammunition, which means that we aren't going to be... Oh, wait, he's weak in magic. That's right. So there's no point. So I guess he's going straight in for melee. We'll toss in the two bandages because, you know... He's going to be the one that's getting wounded all the time. And to make up for that, we're going to have to decide which of these two we're going to bring with us to defend against. Magic, guns, or melee. Now, melee, since he's going to be the main character, that just makes sense. He's going to be attacking a lot with the lead pipe. He's going to be using the lucky rabbit's foot to defend from the attacks, but he's also going to soak damage. And we've been coming across a lot of people with guns and then with magic. So our best bet would be deciding which of the two we think was going to be the issue. I think we're going to put the bulletproof vest in, simply because mundane tends to be more that. Now we're going to be having him essentially soaking damage for us, and we're going to be doing this. Now one last thing is that should we take anything else? And yes, I think we take the epinephrine. Now the epinephrine will allow us to revive him if he goes down, which is important. But also I'm considering the pocket watch. Now we're going to be using the pocket watch sooner rather than later. This means we're not picking up anything new, but we can always burn the watch. Leave the watch behind, come back and burn it whenever our mythos clock gets up to four. This is going to be the reporter, it's going to be him. Now that means when we come back, I don't think that Zoe is going to be in real great shape. But we're going to have to go probably with our two generalists or whoever we pick up, plus one of our generalists, the two people in the back here are the doctors. But in the meantime, let's go with our, well, I'm not quite sure what to put it. This is probably our brute squad at the moment. Zoe really would be the brute squad. She's the brute squad by herself, as we proved in the last episode, but we'll see what we do with these guys. Okay, so we're gonna figure this out. Let's see, yeah, I think we're good here. We'll pick up bandages along the way and hopefully we'll do so. And we're also gonna have a complete set of inventory over here if we actually ever need to get more so that no with no further ado let's go back to i'm gonna it's kind of funny we go all the way back to the mansion then come back to louisiana but i'm gonna guess this let's just pretend that these guys are in the hotel room all right let's go you're wasting time pursuing this lanui character he's untrustworthy at best an outright liar at worst if nothing else, New Orleans is a beautiful city to visit. You never know what you'll find around the next corner. Ambush. Of course, not everything one finds here is a pleasant surprise. I hope nothing tragic befalls you on these unfamiliar streets. All right, so let's see. Finally, we're in the French Quarter, and there's Jackson Square up ahead. Great. His VA is probably the one I like the least at this point, but I, we're going to have to live with it. We should find Alphonse Lanouille's shop on a back street nearby. Now, actually, this does make sense in game because he's the one who knows about Lanouille. And he, um, I, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right since I've got them. Lanouille's and the book, which means that we're technically continuing his story right now, as opposed to dealing with the professor, and we're dragging along the detective. You'll think this Lanwi is not to be trusted. You were pro-cannibal last episode. Your opinion does not count. All right, so. Oh God, we took the Mythos clock with it. We'll be using that clock, our uh, thing with us before. Okay, so, gotta remember how this works. Can we, interesting. Uh, there's the interaction stuff over here. So we're gonna obviously head back and do some Check everything out, even though it's not good for our sandies. Citizen of New Orleans, my friend Jules was out fishing in the bayou when he came across an old house. He reckoned it was abandoned, then he saw a light inside. Well, old Jules just had to take a look, didn't he? What did he see inside? Some sort of monster, I suppose, but I can't him to say more than that. Okay, well, you know, nice side, nice side uh, story. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's see. Give me a hand to the... There we go. Plant the nearby bush may contain something interesting. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Cool. We found shotgun shells in the plant. Ugh. We'll take them. But guess what else we're doing? <laughs> yep, right there. Wait, wait, wait. Inventory. And so let's drop through Miss Close Stock to six. Sorry, from zero. <laughs> Four to zero. Bleh. All right, use. Confirm. 
There we go. That'll buy us a little time. And we get an inventory slot, which is good. All right, so anything else we want to move towards? I don't think so. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. And the mailbox. Mardi Gras. It's always Mardi Gras in New Orleans, even though it's like technically only one day. Oh, a mailbox. Peering the mailbox, if you have a big box inside, the odor of fresh baked cookies wafts over you, reminding of your grandmother's baking. So, yeah, we get our sanity game back, even though we had no chance of losing any. That would only be useful if I was cheating. I'm not cheating. Probably why I'm not doing so well. Well, I'm doing okay. We're all, everybody's sane-ish. Zoe's not much more crazier than when she started. Oh, hello, everyone. Don't mind us. We'll be checking this stuff out. Ah, street cart. Street cart full of wine, cheese, and cake stands on guard in the street corner. Digging through the bobbles, you've turned up something interesting. Well, I guess we've replaced what we lost. <laughs> okay, so, you know, cool. Kind of a sum zero at the moment, which is technically in a Call of Cthulhu game, which is really what this is. You know, if you switch the board game back to the, uh, to the RPG, we're back at Call of Cthulhu. Come on. Here for the Madagascar celebration... Party comes right through on the street. I hear the floats are something this year. A new crew called the Herd of Outlaws spent a lot of money on theirs. Oh, great. Oh, they're going to have goat people on it, and everybody will think it's a, think it's a costume. Okay. All right, let's talk to you, sir. The Herd of Outlaws guy must have some high standards for membership. They rejected me even though I studied the night skies for 12 years. And one of their special requirements are is to be crazy. God, you people, it's like all you can think about are the cannibals. Why is cannibalism such a thing in my games? I swear, it's like the fourth game it's come up in. And there was the time in Cult of Simulator I played the cannibal. So what was she thinking? My youngest Mildred wanted to run off to play with her friends in the bayou. Well, I'll tell you, I sure forbade it. No child of mine's going out there. Not the witch just waiting to snatch her up. Ooh, we got a, like kind of a reference to... How do I put this? To Dreams in the Witch House with old Keziah Mason hanging out here. Or does she have like a sister? All right. Right, among the trash, you spell something no notable. Found a new item, melee attack plus one, plus two. All right, so the question is, do we take it? And we're gonna have to say no. It'd be nice to take it, but I didn't give the bandages to do that, and we're not doing that. But we'll just remember that it's here. You probably won't get a chance to get it, but you never know. So really jack up his abilities. I mean, the thing is, I could. A back store, a back street grocery store full of shoppers sniffling and sneezing produce, squeezing produce before making their selections. Uh, Roland, must you write down everything? Okay, so keep an eye on that. After our first fight, well, I should probably, I should probably give up the bandages. They're kind of common. All right, so let's, yeah, I like the fact when it tells me to accelerate, I technically just move to a heavy stroll. All right, so we're going to move this to the bandages. This is going to give him a melee attack of plus two as we wrap it around the thing here, and we're going to get nine to 11 every time we hit, which he needs because that Zoe's special ability is extra damage. This is going to... Oh, wow, we got blood everywhere. All right, cool. Let's get to our uh, first battle. Hi, right, dude. Season New Orleans. Did you hear the Hurdah guys making another hope for the Mardi Gras parade season this year? I don't know what the top last year when the balloon exploded. We all thought it was an accident, but the stars flew everywhere. Amazing. Oh, God. Terrorism. We're going to have terrorism. All right. So let's see. Uh huh. A poster. A black poster. The bold letters over a vaguely squirming green and black background. The poster reads Mythos. You don't recognize this as a brand name, but you can't shake the feeling the word is some connection to strange events in your life. Oh, that's... Mythos just means myth-related. It doesn't necessarily mean Cthulhu. All right, let's see what this document says. A poster. A hand-drawn poster of a young woman is pasted to the back wall. The notice says she's been missing for about a month. Okay, we're going to find out what happened to her, aren't we? It's She's either become a monster, a sacrifice, or she's been brainwashed into a cult. Yeah. Cults are a new thing. Are back in are back in um fashion these days. All right, cool. An old voodoo shop. This must be the place. Okay. Uh, doors locked. Mister Lanui, we've come to talk to you. Mind the Fed. Hey, get away from my shop. Hey, you won't trick me that easily, you bloody-handed assassins. Because most assassins just knock at the front door. What? We're not. Show the badge. 
I warned you he's untrustworthy. Quiet. Mr. Len, we were just here to talk. Leave at once before I call the police. He is the police. He sounds upset. Maybe one of his neighbors can help us talk to him. Show the badge, Roland. Are you really working for the FBI or the BI? It's not federal yet. Just called the Bureau of Investigation at this point. All right, so you got to do some talking. I guess you are technically one of his neighbors. That's your beard. Lanoui, I haven't seen him in a while. I see his friend sitting alone lately, always taking notes. I wonder what he's writing. I don't know. Both my guys are writing too. All right, so let's go this way first. Let's see how far we go. Ah, there we are. I see the magic dots over here, and let's check them all out. Now, this is gonna sand dam us, isn't it? Sand damage. Sanity damage. All right, cool. We know there's bandages here if we can't make it all the way back to our stop. And how much blood is on the ground here? Or are these just flowers? Okay, so the person we're looking for is writing, but we're going to talk to everyone. Oh, there's your twin. I heard the mayor owes this Erd of Algi a special favor as they help him with a so-called medical problem. Oh, God. He's going to be another mutant, isn't he? All right, Roland, get ready to set the town on fire. Kind of expect it to be ending up that way anyways. Yeah, I heard the rumors about the witch house. The man, they say it lies far out in the bay where it's stand abandoned for years. I hear there's an old lady there now weaving magic. If you get too close, you can hear the screams of the victims she sacrificed. Hey, Kaziah! Kaziah has a summer house in New Orleans. I can't blame her. El Narcos Little Cafe is served the most delicious tea. If only by the park, though. The back streets are such riffraff. Oh, just be quiet. You're dead. Apparently, but not at peace. Okay, let's see. Oh, more filthy bandages. Again, we're not needing them at the moment. We'll run back all the way if we have to. Okay, you look untrustworthy. All right, knowledge search. There's too much stuff. Sometimes it's faster just to dump it out before searching. Street car full of wine, cheese, and cakes in a garden. Okay, fine. Let's just empty out somebody else's, you know, living. Destroy their play. Oh, got a guy with a badge. We're fine. Oh god, another shotgun. Oh boy. Now I gotta decide what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I mean, the thing is, giving him two guns just doesn't make any sense. It would make more sense to do you. But I have to give up something important for that. Alright, so let's move that here. And then I guess we move that to you. So it looks like you'll be taking the range damage boost. I'll be mostly melee. And we've both got... Lots of shells, so we'll be doing lots of damage per round, and if we need to come back here again, we will. Uh, leaving my half my inventory scattered across the streets here. Alright, Q. Oh, a nice... I don't take any sanity damage yet. <laughs> the scent of French coffee fills a cozy cafe. It'd be nice to return under more pleasant circumstances. Oh, sure, why not? Let's go find the next random encounter, shall we? Let's assume it will be assassins that are sent to wipe out Lorraine, and that's how we get his, uh, help. Alright, cool. Mm -hmm. It's a puppet show. It's actually a lot larger. Street kiosk. Police investigating. It appears the appearance of Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth Cartwright. Anyone with information to whereabouts to contact the police. Police discourage further reports of a bio-witch. Bio-witch. Sorry. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what do we got here. It's her article. A newspaper article in this year's Mardi Gras celebration predicts record attendance in a parade with the greatest costumes and float ever seen in New Orleans. They always predict that. It's good for tourism. Ooh, ooh, I think I know who you are. If you look a lot like a certain card. All right, let's go. Pile of debris. Pile of debris. Perhaps there's something useful in the color. All right. Uh, examine. Excellent. Oh, my God. We're like... All right, whenever we get the next character, we have to run back here. <sighs> Fine. God, I got both. All right, so we have to run back here, and we're going to have to do some serious recollection. You didn't find anything. That was me. No, that's not you. I thought he was one of the characters, the musician character, but I forgot he's one of the beginning characters, so you're not going to get him unless you uh, choose him. The musician, I can't remember. He's the only... Person of color, I think you can get in the beginning. Let's talk to you, shall we? By the way, you mean the owner of that weird shop? Yeah, I've seen him around, but he's an odd duck. I don't know if I'd trust him if I were you. Uh, no, not chiming in there, Grandma. All right. 
After my friend David joined the Urda Valdai last year, being acting all high and mighty, he's too good to speak with anymore. You're better off without him. Uh, do, 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 do. We do get a third character. We got a lot of stuff to go back on. All right, nothing here. Just double checking that I. Oh, there's a fight there. Uh, well, we might as well get to it in a bit, but let's see if we can find everything else, possibly. More piled debris lies before you. Has more useful items. God, God, they give you this ammunition. I'm always worried. You know what I think we should do? Honestly, we should definitely go back and get those. We should go back and get those, um... I put the bandages. Uh, probably gonna end up doing something else first. I'm just kind of wandering everywhere, really. A man's been nice in contact. Perhaps you could use him social. No advice. Charm. All right, fine. Intimidate. Your thing, dude. Alfonso Lee Russ responds. I know well enough to cross the street. He walks by. One person he treats like a friend is named Erisside. I saw him see him sitting in front of Jackson Square. Are we in Jackson Square? Are you Erisside? You spare a dime? I'd give him a dime. It's just a dime. Even this time, our frame is not that important. Oh dear gods, we have so many places to go! Car is the latest, most fashionable model available. We can't help pausing to admire the sight of Well, they are two guys. They're gonna admire cars. Alright, so, you, my friend, what do you have to tell me? You're a friend of Lenny? How do we friend? For all you know, you could be looking to cause trouble. Charm. Alright, suppose you open up. Talk to our side. He's a friend of Lenny. You find him in Jackson Square, far from the street noise. Okay, cool. Don't have anything to say. Oh God! Old Maggie June tells me of this cart right from two streets ago. This way, I haven't seen for a month or two. Some of which has been dragged out of the view since the witch dragged her out there by the hair and has boiled her up for some gumbo. Oh, dude, you got lost sanity on that? Seriously? How do you make it through the uh, bureau at this point? Yeah, first of the wit. Sorry, name's not familiar. All right. Oops. Ah, trying to get this button. Okay, right, so yeah. Hmm. Okay, we've gone through this full circle here, which is good. Nope, for crying out loud, I didn't get you. Okay, woman looks at her calmly not looking at her yeah, a woman looking about her obviously nervous about something. If you could hot her, she might be able to help you. Calm down. Do you know why do you know Leno means in the night? Maybe that's why he only does that after dark. When he does, he usually spends time with a man named Aristide, away from under a street lamp. The bread come, does it lead to a solution? I don't know. Obviously, we're gonna go get a fight. But the question is, which one of our, since we're gonna have the option of uh, going back over our stuff here, what do we wanna take with us? If we're crying out loud, more and more opening up. What brings you to Vailestad? This just if we spew. Yeah, do you know Liam von Fons? Great guy and known. He always takes time to chat with me. Lately, he seems anxious, maybe even frightened. He barely leaves his house anymore, not even to share a bottle of wine with Bon Marnie or Steed. Do you know he's made him such gross? Or heard of. Alphonse mentioned that his name before he acted so strangely. You see these people attacked you? Well, take this. Uh, you might hurt Alphonse. Here, take this symbol. He told him he was an icon of peace. You tell him that you received this from the friend of Estad. He will help you, I hope. All right, cool. All we need to do is show Lenui this sign? That sounds too easy. I'm with you on that one. Let's give it a try. Uh, not the most, most verbose combo. You have nothing to say at this point. Now the question is, do we want to... What do we want to do here? 16 shells, 14 bullets. Lots of ammo. I don't want to give up any of our defense systems, though. And the question is... Let's see, the Colt, yeah, the shotgun might be the best to temporarily lose here. I know it's a lot of damage, but he's going to need bandages, especially since I... And the shotgun, while nice, isn't critical, because we want to be able to switch out ammunition again. If we have the option, we will... Whoops, run back through here. And start cleaning stuff out, especially when we get the number three guy. Or girl. You don't know. I don't know. I didn't read ahead, so I've got no idea. All right, so let's do this. Let's knock. 
You knock on the door, and you obviously hear the impatience coming from the other side of it. Mr. Lenwee? I told you to go away. Mr. Lenwee, we were so told to show you this sign. Voice actor apparently didn't call this one in. Ah, so you're requesting sanctuary. Very well. If I still vouches for you, you may come inside. All right, let's get on to the next part of the plot. <laughs> looks like my hey hey looks like my table at home. No no mine's actually has less candles. <laughs> they both have the same beard. <laughs> no not quite. Now that I have a closer look at you, I must say you don't appear very much like assassins. What do you want? Well, that's the best assassins. Assassins, huh? Who'd want to kill a shopkeep? You been honest with all your customers? I like how those dolls in the end are tapered off so you can use them as stakes for vampires. All I can say is that someone out there wants to kill me. And I won't take one step outside my house until I know the threat is over. Let's do some killing. Now answer my question. What do you want? We're investigating the death of a friend who was murdered recently. The trail led to a member of the herd of Algidi. You consort with the herd? Why, then you are my enemies, and the shop's ward should have prevented you from entering. I'll just... Wait, no. The Herd are no friends of ours. I don't know anything about the Herd, since this character had nothing to do with the plot. Is that so? Well, whether or not that's true, I fail to see what any of this has to do with me. I've got to... <sighs> I figured you might have more information about him. What's more... Our late friend Professor Tillingist mentioned you in her notes. Oh boy, we're about to have a reaction. Tillingist? Your friends of Wilhelmina Tillingist? Well, get the fuck out. Yeah, just recently in Arkham, we. And you say she's dead. You, uh. You actually saw her corpse? Well, technically Banks did. Yes, that's why we're. Oh, that's good. They remembered that. Oh no. No, no, no. It's gone much further than I imagined. No wonder they're after me. What? Did. You, oh, gods, where is this plot going? What's gone further? Who is after you? I'm a bureau of, I'm a bureau agent. I can probably not protect you. Why, the herd, of course. They're behind all of this. Quickly, there's no time. Here we go. What is this sputtering fool talking about? And the way he keeps interrupting you, how rude. You're the GM. You're probably playing him. Wait, just a moment. Engelbert. He's my assistant. I sent him to infiltrate the herd and learn what designs they might have on me. Well, that was risky. If Tillingist is dead, I fear he might be next. I don't dare leave the protections of my shop. You must find him and bring him back here. Well, okay, we got our next quest. Take two right turns after leaving my shop. His house is the one with the red door, just past the cafe. I'm guessing that's where the fight is. This is all too much. Two right turns. I bet he's just sending you on a wild goose chase to get rid of you. Be quiet. Oh, cool. We can do some talking. After leaving my shop, take the first two right turns. Engelburn lures in the house with the red door just past the cafe. Red door, two rights. Got it. All right, we're going to be doing some wandering. Banks, out of the way. Out of the way, Banks. A mysterious object attracts your attention. You have no idea what it does, but if it's in Lenat's shop, it must be special. You, you reach for the object. Look with your eyes, not your hands. What are you, children? <laughs> I thought he'd say that. That's beautiful. Uh, God, so you... You could have just bought it. No. I'm guessing we'll see this stuff when he's dead. No. Yeah, that looks safe. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not going to be bad guests. I mean, the only reason I was bad guests is because I didn't know what they wanted us to do here. I am actually navigating this with only looking slightly drunk. Oh, wow. Uh, here. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. Ah, they made it blurry. I guess, wait, wait. Or maybe we can do this. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Apparently, I don't want us to see anything. I'm guessing the pixelation wasn't that good. All right, let's go. Two right turns. 
I assume you mean right from exiting. All right. All right, so we might be passing some of our equipment on the way here too. Uh -huh. What was this again? Just double checking. I think that's the dirty bandages. Yep. Only if we're desperate. I mean really desperate. Okay, two right turns. And the red. Past the cafe, right? The red door. That's a red door over there. I want to paint it black. All right, so... Or it's just a red wall. Okay, so we're going to get lost again. All right, we're cool with that, right? All right, turns. Okay, let's just find the next point by doing it the hard way. Wait, right, so that's a red door, isn't it? No, it's red windows. It doesn't have an interaction point either. Oh, we haven't been in this part yet. Oof, it was a random condition. I know, with all this stuff just lying around. Me, I just always come in, you know, armed to bear. Wooden crate. Nope. Ah, that sucked. Uh, that, however, is worth it. Alright, cool. Yeah, you do that. Oh, that could be the red door there. It's not really red. It's green. Speakeasy opened the business, honestly. It was the point of having it. You press a grief glimpse of a long, do long bar and a dozen cozy tables, all set with a glass of liquor. A whiff of booze drifts out of the sidewalk, and you realize the speakeasy is trying to disguise its business. The police must be well bribed. You even have whiskey over there. Wow. Subtle. Anyways, yeah, we're just kind of wandering around again. I wonder who would have attacked us at that point. That's not it either. Yeah, typical tourists. Can't really follow directions. There's the red door. Yeah, this was a few more that okay, cool. There's the red door. Azathoth's chocolate. The well, it'll make you just feel like you're chaotic. Well, that's a thought this, by the way, the chief chief god of the Lovecraftian mythos, who's nothing more than a blind, dithering idiot screaming at the center of the universe, constantly soothed by piping spirits, which by the way is the entity that's in um Eric Zahn's um, the music of Eric Zahn. He's being recruited for the job. Wait, what happened here? Oh, the door's ajar. Someone must have left in a hurry. We better take a look inside. Oh, that'll be good. So, yeah, and keeps him pacified because the moment he's not pacified, he will awaken and devour the universe. And the sound's gone. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Knock on the door. All right, so we all know we're going to have a fights in here, and we're going to, at least we can head back to the point where we can get stuff, if we need to, like a shotgun. Well... This must be Lenoui's assistant, Engelbert. Well, you sucked at your spy job. It's the right address, all right. When will this trail of tragedy end? My death was only the beginning. Is he going to start talking to us, too? The body's fresh. The killer can't be far away. Okay, you... I've done this before, I give you that. Say what you will about Lenui. He was right about there being an assassin. We should find the killer before he gets to Lenui. And our answers. Got it, but I'm going to be checking every item be in here. Be careful, friends. One who goes hunting for a tiger may learn that the tiger finds him first. I am armed to the teeth. We should search this place first. Maybe Engelbert or his killer left a clue behind. Well, is that or her? Okay, well, I was going to do that anyways. Body of Engelbert, Linus' assessment lies before in a pool of blood. Blue blood pools through blood pools through his limbs, but not rigid in death. Defensive wounds on his arms and hands show he fought for his life to no avail. Perhaps there's a clue in his person. Search the relief. How do you keep doing that to me? Red piece of clothing. From Amber's clenched fist, you pluck a scrap of red cloth, distinctive pink pattern. He must have torn the killer. You also notice his hands are wet, but not from blood. Yeah, that's actually the right time. Coffee cup. Puddle of coffee cup and a drop cup still steams the heat. It must have spilled recently. Okay, and this one? Book of Healing. Three health actions, ten health restoration. We need this so badly, but we're so bad at magic. We've got extra guns, but for God's sake, give me the bullets back. 
You're not going to give me the bullets back. Are you serious? Oh, gods. I need these. I need... <sighs> That's the thing. All right, so it's 10 health restoration. Screw it. It's not as... The, the bandages do better and they're more predictable. Uh, we're going to uh, low mana, but that's actually some of the better ways to play Call of Cthulhu. All right, look through. Many ori clothes you find the raiment of the Urd of Elgai. And Gilbert must have been using it to infiltrate. Yeah, we're going to have to get that damn uh, watch at some point. All right, so quick. Let's go in here. We this is bathroom. All right, so a paint, small painting of a monstrous landscape decorates the bathroom wall. Frame is slightly crooked, so something's behind it. Show Lanwei. We tucked a scrawled peace symbol with a note. Show Lanwei when he's in doubt. Oh, that's useful. I guess your killer will be using it. The best place is a clean start. Maybe emptying will help first. A bathtub. A white clawfoot bathtub. This is a special ability because we don't actually have a willpower one. Fill the murky gray water. Perhaps something lies beneath. Empty. Note from Engelbald. A portal. Tell Lynette. Portal open in the bayou. The bathroom. We found a sodden note from a book. Bleed of lines. Why would you keep a book in there? And he's actually right this time. It is a clue. Banks, this is your mission. I have actually accidentally picked the absolute correct people for this mission. Reporter and detective. Who investigate, as investigators do. Kitchen sink is full of filthy dishes covered in congealed grease and hardened sauce. Unger was much of a housekeeper, but you can't think of less places like find a clue. It makes the perfect place for one. Empty. So you'd like to think it was with the tribe, but it wasn't. You find nothing but undefinable fluids. Oh my god. The sink gave us a sanity test. Oh my god, an oven, find clues, stretch. You find more bullets. Cool. Good, you're gonna... Read. Stained and dog-eared recipe book lies on the counter. It's definitely seen better days, and it's hard to find a particular recipe without a search. Perhaps it's something worth finding. Binet! These are actually pretty good. This... Alright, cool, we know how to do that. It really comes down to it, but hey, at least we know he was a decent cook. Alright, so I guess this is all the clues we're going to find here, so it's time to leave and find that damn clock. Uh-oh. Two things. Let's check the carpet. The entrance is old carpet. Doesn't look like anybody's ever bothered to clean it. Feeling of nausea, so decided it might be useful to examine it. Lift. Well, that worked. Medium physical damage. Great. Well, that sucked. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Examine this first. A few, a few blocks of black hair fall on the floor by a spot of blood. Perhaps in fighting his life, I'm angry. Left another clue for his attackers. You now we're gonna do. We're gonna walk right over here. We're gonna pick. We're gonna use this book to do some healing. And whip, move, destroy. Oh, we can't use it unless we're in combat. All right, forget it then. And I need to make him stop doing that. All right, so yeah, we're going to leave that behind. Yeah, I'm going... That would be an interesting magic thing to have, but again, the, the it allows healing at range, but it's, we got other things we got to do first. Although it'd be kind of interesting if what we can do... Here, let me check. I've got one item over here, don't I? Oops. And probably have to get him. All right, that's the barbed wire. Not gonna be as good, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, we know. Hang on. Oops, where are we? Okay, let's open up. L. There we go. Close story. All right, da, 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 do, 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 do. Okay, so enemies. Oh, cool. Heard of our guy. Goat like monster. Those are all cool. Investigators. Not so great. Um, objectives. Talk to Lou. Okay, ask. Confront the assassin. Ask for around the cafe for information. We should do that first. Investigators. Enemies. Where's our clues? Oh, over here. Coffee cup. It's black hair. Piece of red clothing and assistant's hat. Symbol. Okay. Let's go in the cafe first. I mean, the red clothing is here, but let's ask around the cafe first. And first thing we're going to do, by the way, is we're going to stash. Let me open this up. But can't stash this here. It's back here. That's what I was going to do. It was over here. I was going to stash. Uh, 
You know, the buttons are kind of mapped too close to each other. I mean, it's my excuse, and I'm going with it. What we're going to do is we're going to drop off this here temporarily. Oh, thank God, they emptied the gun. And, twice. Pop back in here. Grab that book. Because if we have the option of coming back and getting equipment, it's going to be easier to get it from the street than it is going to be getting it from... Let's see. It's going to be getting it from inside here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I was just thinking, the other chocolate means that you don't have to bribe him with songs. You can just give him chocolate. Yeah, I can work with that. Alright, so. Temporarily sticking that there. We'll come back for this stuff. And if this is the assassin, well, hey, we'll actually know what the heck to get for the new, new guy. You can have the gun. Do, 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 do. All right, so we ask around the cafe. Okay, so there's a new couple of dots here. What do we have in here again? Yeah, we could have used you a second ago. The one customer wearing the most beautiful hat. Have you ever seen anything like it? I should have asked where I could buy one. Okay, well, that's a thing. And you, my friend? What do you got to say? Okay, we don't have any social. Charm. Question. Well, we know we're using the damn thing. Lecture. There was a well-to-do looking one woman near the voodoo shop. I thought it was strange that someone's so fancy. So it's not a guy. It's a woman we're looking for. <sighs> it's you. All right, so what do we have to decide we're going to do about it? Every round we go into combat, we're going to do a three. Let's see what we got here. Yep. With a distinctive pattern. It's definitely her. Okay, so the question is, what are we going to be doing? Alright. Defend, defend. No, the gun is loaded. Did you just load the gun? We'll load the gun first, but we want to use go back and grab the clock. Now, if you do that, you'll only have melee, and banks will be pumping out ammunition like crazy. I think we're going to try that. No, actually, let's do this as we've got it here. Reload. I don't know. We're about to murder a person in broad daylight. So let's go. Just in case. Yes. Now uh, we have you, assassin. What do you plan on doing about it? Oh, we can arrest her. I don't know what you mean. Oh, you have red. You're obviously the enemy. You can't fool us. We know who you are and you won't get away. I have a corrupt bureau agent. Well, that's great. The hell? All right, fine. You want to do this? Let's see, three. And we can shoot that and that. It's cool. All right, so. Ooh, which one are we going for? Well, you're going to have that one, so... We don't have any magic resistance, do we? Yes. That's ten, and... Pistol. Same target. Well, that's going to suck. Ooh, boy. Well, that was quick. Which is why I got this stuff. Yes. Wake up. Got stuff to do. Three left, so we're going to be able to use the shotgun. On our friend here. Oh my god, he survived that. Oh, he's gonna get killed again, isn't he? Dude, seriously. Oh, at least he's doing a healing, which is a thing. 
All right, you are gonna have to use this, I'm afraid. Yeah. And then this. Oh, for God's sakes. Guess we're doing this. And we're gonna be using it on... You. Ah, I was hoping for a crit. But you're not out of bullets, dude. <sighs> Reload on two and shotgun fire. Probably. Nope. Oh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off this guy. Always make sure you get one, kill, one guy down first. You can't do any healing either, can you, dude? Yeah. <laughs> and we have two left or three, so let's just do this. We're gonna kill this round, anyways. And we have Overwatch. Yes. Problem is, it's not gonna trigger without her moving. Stop do killing him! God damn it. Oh, for crying out loud. At least the dead guy doesn't have to. Alright, fine. First things first. You, get up. Okay, and next. <sighs> and Overwatch. Useless, but you never know. She might move. Oh, gods. You do just keep getting nailed. Should have brought the bulletproof vest. One last kill, shall we? Okay, well that happened. Uh, I failed my mission, and the herd, and the great... Goat. What good luck you have, my friends, to overcome such a deadly foe. No. With the assassin out of the way, it's time to get back to Lanui. He's bound to help us now. Do you want to, like, bog this with the cops or anything? If you expect gratitude from that one, I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. What's this notebook sticking out of the killer's pocket? Here's something about getting rid of Lenwit. Oh, Wait, there's something about Professor Tillingus, too. Escort Tillingus to the witch house in the bayou. I wonder what they wanted with her there. Yeah. You're a bad girl. <laughs> All right, so what the hell? All oh, right, we better, better, better. <sighs> Use and you do it, you, my friend. Okay, that didn't help much. We had no melee. <laughs> oh, gods. Uh, yeah, you've been taking way too much. And yeah, let's reload that. Good thing we brought it. All right, so where the, let me think for a second. All right, so we gotta go back to Lene's shop, but I frankly am thinking about going picking up that shotgun right now. Cause, not only does it, whoops, do more damage, it kind of, you know, uses the shells, which it's the, back through here. I think, wait, wait, wait. I think we went through here originally, yeah. Sigh. Because we're going through bullets rather quickly. So, let's switch that out. And... Equip it. You have the pistol, which you should reload. And really, unfortunately, put a loaded gun in there. Which means you lost eight bullets, which means... Damn it. <sighs> oh, gods. Alright, so let's go talk with the new. We're probably not going to get getting anything from him. In anything from the streets, but you never know. Probably gonna end up being dead, too. Because that's just how our luck goes. I gotta remember to take less stuff. 
I head back in. Are you dead yet? Why have you come back without Engelbert? Don't tell me something has happened to him. We were too late to save him, but we found the assassin and dealt with her. I told you, you didn't believe me, but it was true. Yes, I say I didn't believe you. I suppose I should thank you, even if you did fail to save poor dear Engelbert. We found a note he'd hidden in his apartment. It said something about you and a portal in the bayou. What do you know about that? As I suspected. Alas, Engelbert, you served me well up until the day of your death. And I'm betting you didn't pay him more than minimum wage. What are you talking about? The so-called comet that passed near the Earth a few weeks ago. That was not a comet at all. It was an it was a spaceship that had vampires on it. And by the way, go see the film Life Force. It's awesome. Do I surprise you? I dare say I do by the look of wonder and astonishment in your eyes. Oh, Banks always looks like that. He's usually half drunk. <laughs> I am no mere purveyor of voodoo trinkets and curios, but a scholar of occult knowledge. My ancestors knew the truth, and they passed it down to me along with forbidden tomes and arcane scrolls. Okay, kind of interesting inheritance. But I guess he does have to run the shop because, you know, capitalism. We know the danger of the herd of Algidi. They are behind all of these events, and they have been scheming so for decades. Why, just 20 years ago? Hold on a minute. Let's back up to, uh, not a comet at all. Ah, of course. To the uninitiated, this can seem overwhelming. Well, I did send the two dumber ones. <laughs> Very well. The disturbance astronomers mistook for a ball of dust and ice orbiting the sun was in truth a portal. That's a stargate. A gate leading to the star Deneb al -Gedi. Shit, I was it's right. more astute you may recognize as appearing in the constellation known as the Tale of the Goat, dozens of light years away. God damn, the Gwald get everywhere. A gateway to a distant star? Go on, pull the other one, Lenuit. I did warn you Lanwe was unstable. What some mistake for eccentricity is full-blown madness, I tell you. You had tea with Kazai's Mason. You have no la you have no leverage to talk here. Not impossible. Just hidden from the knowledge of most. Or um the, one of the better sci-fi TV series of its of its decade. You do know that occult means hidden, don't you? Well, I suppose I must keep things as simple as possible for you. It's been interesting you brought the parapsychologist. Or perhaps not. You have seen the proof yourselves in the book entitled Culte de Gaulle. How did you know we saw that? We read that. You've witnessed the manner of deaths of those who posed an obstacle. Hmm, it's pretty common, actually. It seems impossible, but it must be true. Okay, open-minded, I can deal with that. For a long time, my suspected Tillingist was allied with the herd. She was studying I the comet, it. after all. But with her death, it seems they weren't allies after all. If I had realized... I would have done more to warn her. Not necessarily the case. The cultists we fought before might have been of a rival cult that wanted to stop the herd. You know, like the Starry Wisdom or random group of goths. Don't beat yourself up about it, Linwit. There'll be time for that after we've dealt with this herd. Engelbert infiltrated their cult. He told me of the general plans and described their headquarters in the bayou. The locals call it the Witch House and are afraid to go near it. From what Engelbert reported, I knew they were approaching favorable time for their schemes. Schemes. Why do you even listen to this madman? Says the ghost. He says he knew I was in danger, but failed to warn me. He sacrificed his own assistant rather than risk his own skin. And? Untrustworthy villain. You don't get to say anything about this anymore. And now you think this portal has opened? It has. It must have. I know the method of closing it, but the danger of going there... No, I would never survive the attempt. You're safe with us. After all, we've already saved you from one assassin. You died twice. That's true. And I suppose it's no fault of yours you were too late to save Engelbert. Very well, I agree. Then that is our plan. We'll go together into the bayou. Closing this mystical gate is far beyond this charlatan's power. 
You'll only be putting yourselves in more danger than you've ever faced before. Oh, how would you know? Well, I hope you enjoyed this little expedition to the classic 1920s setting for Call of Cthulhu. I mean the Arkham Horror RPG. If you did, feel free to drop a like, share, and or subscribe if you really like it and want to expand the number of bonus episodes per month by helping us hit that next stretch goal, unlock exclusive episodes for yourself. Consider becoming a supporter for this channel by clicking on the link down below, and I will see you next time. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters, whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.